Dha one four. Jealousy like that of Naraji. On Magshar Sudhi seventh, Samvat eighteen ninety six. Nope, eighteen seventy six. I correct. On the twenty fourth of November, eighteen nineteen. Shriji Maharaj was sitting in Dada Kachar's Darbar in Gadhada. He was dressed entirely in white clothes. At that time, an assembly of sadhus, as well as devotees from various places, had gathered before him. And I will point out that I very much enjoy how each of these verses begins with setting the scene so we can feel like we are there to some extent rather than just placeless words abstractly floating through hyperspace <laughs> then Sri Ji Maharaj said devotees of God should not harbor jealousy amongst themselves thereupon Anandanand Swami said, But, Maharaj, even then, jealousy still remains. Hearing this, Sri Ji Maharaj explained, If one does harbor jealousy, it should be like that of Naraji. Naraji, also known as Devarishi Narada. Rishi means sage or seer deva means god or goddess so deva rishi means a seer of the gods narad was not just a regular spiritual aspirant he was one who even taught the gods so he's a very very prolific character in many hindu stories once both naraji and Tumbaru went to Vaikunt, the abode of Narayan, for the darshan of Lakshmi and Narayan, the divine feminine and masculine. There, Tumbaru sang before them. As a result, both Lakshmi and Narayan were pleased and rewarded him with their clothes and ornaments. Seeing this, Naraji became jealous of Tumbaru and thought, I shall also learn to sing like Tumbaru and please God. Then Naraji learned the art of singing and sang before God. But God commented, You do not know how to sing like Tumbaru. <laughs> Thereafter, Naraji performed austerities to please Lord Shiva another form of God, the destroyer, and received his blessings to master the art of singing. However, when he sang before God again, God was still not pleased. In this way, Naraji continued for seven manvantars. A manvantar is an incomprehensible amount of time. It refers to one whole cycle of humanity. Humanity as arising into existence and the ultimate uh, destruction of humanity again. So seven whole cycles of humanity spawning in and out of existence. You know, these are cosmic scales. He practiced learning how to sing for this long. Despite this, God would not be pleased with his singing. Finally, Naraji learned to sing from Tumbaru himself and then sang before Sri Krishna Bhagavan in Dvarika. Only then was Sri Krishna Bhagavan pleased and only then did he reward Naraji with his own clothes and ornaments. Thereafter, Naraji abandoned his jealousy towards Tumbaru. Thus, if one is to harbor jealousy, one should imbibe the virtues of the person towards whom one is jealous, and should also abandon one's own faults, 
If this cannot be done, then a devotee of God should at least totally abandon any form of jealousy that would result in harming another devotee of God. Let us pause our reading there. <laughs> I think I have such a terrible singing voice. It would also take me seven manvantars to eventually be good enough to appease God. <laughs> Other people are just born naturally good singers, aren't they? No, we all have practice. Maybe not in this lifetime, but in the previous one. My favorite part of that story was that in order to become a better singer, he went to God. He was singing for God, but then he went to a different form of God to then get the blessings so that he could sing to God. And this reminds me of that kind of spiritual seeker that sees God both as the goal and the means. What is the goal? To attain association with that source of the universe. How will you gain that association? Well, only God can give that association, so we pray for that as well. <laughs> There's nothing we can do except make ourselves more, more ready to receive that, that grace. 